always pulling, we're always collecting. Walking into a bar, looking at the bathroom wall, or some punk flyer out on the street. Living somewhere like New York, I mean, it's this constant barrage of sound and sight. How do you make meaning from this all? And, and how do you weave it together for your own personal narrative? And then how do you share that back with somebody to let them find something through that? I'm Patrick McNeil. And I'm Patrick Miller. Together we're fail. Pat and I met in high school. We grew up a lot with comic books, wrestling, baseball cards. There was very much this idea of collecting all these little bits and pieces and then sharing that. We moved to New York and we'd walk around and document what was happening on the street. We were pretty excited about the energy of the artwork. We liked the immediate accessibility to the public, the fact that it was alive. At that time, we'd called ourselves a life. We started messing with the letters and we got fail. And we kind of like the idea of fail to succeed, look past your failures and you can find a life. The show really covers the last five years of our work. The arcade kind of led into like a whole new body of work that included music, digital media, interaction, installation. It evolved out of that old love for arcades and sort of the seediness mixed with this elation. It was kind of a transformative space where you were really felt somewhere totally different. The temple started with the idea of trying to bring back lost crafts. We originally showed the temple in 2010 in the middle of this large square in Lisbon. Across the bottom of the temple, it says Savage Sacred Young Minds. The title of the show, which is something that's driven our work, is kind of this idea of the passions and contradictions of youth. It's about sifting through the cultural landscape to find authenticity and meaning, and then sort of break that down and build something new. The Brooklyn Museum is our neighborhood museum. The shows always have a way of being very personal and moving, but yet you can still relate to on a much broader scale. The fact that you hear laughing and screaming, and the fact that you can touch it and it's not precious. It's a full sensory experience in that way. How about you're Patrick Menil of Fail, and I'll say I'm Patrick Menil Miller of Fail. But then it's Fail, Fail. I don't know. Let's hope you don't have to use this.